Timer Pro gives you access to two different types of work instruction outputs. Uh, the first one here we're going to look at is going to be, if you go under the summary here, you'll see there's a work instruction option right here. And if you take the work instruction option, you get a choice of a couple of different formats that we give you standard. Now, these formats here are our standard work instructions. Now, the output here will give you one sheet for each of the tasks in your process here. You can see that if I open up, see it's mold parts, stack parts, buff three parts. If I open up a work instruction that's developed from this, here's the mold parts, here's the stack parts, the buff three parts. In fact, what you can see if I bring these down a little bit here, you'll see that each one of the tasks in your process has a separate sheet here. So they're fully documented within that particular sheet here. So that is the work instruction option that comes off of the summary work instructions here. The second option is the package. A package is used when you've got operations that have got many, many steps in them and you might want to break them out into larger groupings. You can see that's what we have here, show all groupings here. So we're using this function over here. You can see the detail here and each grouping has multiple steps in it. And in this case, what, what a package does, it creates a summary for each of the tasks in turn. So not for all the tasks, but each one gets its own package here. So if I click the right button here and I select the package, generating the package station here will produce the results just for this particular station here. So that's the difference between the, uh, the work instruction and the package. Uh, the package lets you get more detailed on a particular task if you need to. And the output here will be in the format as follows. So a package has a cover sheet and the cover sheet contains all the steps. So you can see here, part production, setup, cleanup, oven process. And then each of the individual steps are broken down into what we call job element sheet. So here's the elements that go into the job element sheet called part production, the first step. Here's the one, the steps that go into the uh, job element sheet that invo are involved in the setup, the cleanup, and then the oven process. So this allows you to have a lot more detail and a bit more organization but what it means is that each of the individual tasks in your operation would have their own package. Which is now, there is a different format that we use for each of them because one is more complicated in terms of processing than the other. So to show you that format, I'm going to bring this up here. This is the format we use when we are dealing with a work construction. You can put any number of rows at the top can contain the information you're looking for. Any number of columns on the left can contain the information. And the work instruction detail uh, will go in here. And you look at this format here. There's any number of rows at the top can represent whatever your company is doing. Any number of columns on the left here. And then the work content is going to go in here. Now, if you look at the format for the, um, for the package, though, we only can use the top here. Right? There is no left-hand column here. Everything goes in basically under the, the header information here. And that's because we're doing a tremendous amount more uh, data movement to maintain the packages. If you can imagine just the complexity, if you move an element from here to over to here, we have to update all the uh, related um, processes. So it's just more efficient in terms of processing if we had changed the format here. So when you're using a uh, work instruction format, you do get the option to use a header and a left-hand column. When you're using a package, you only can use the header information. And you see that, that data here. You can see here's the header data up here, these lines at the top, right? And that's anything, you can put anything you like in here. And the same over in the cover sheet area, right? So they don't have to be the same. The cover sheet is a different design than the, um, the actual job element sheets, obviously. But the format is basically the same. Any number of rows at the top, any number of rows at the top. There is no left-hand column available to you when you're using packages as opposed to work instructions.